Hello and welcome to the Maths Doctor. In this video we're looking at how to find the formula for the area of a kite. So a kite is a two-dimensional shape. It's also a quadrilateral with four sides and it has two distinct pairs of adjacent sides. So we have this pair here and this longer pair of adjacent sides there. Now its diagonals also intersect at right angles as we can see there and one uh, diagonal in fact in this case the vertical diagonal uh, will always be a perpendicular bisector of the other diagonal so what we're going to do we're actually going to enclose our kite into a rectangle made up by the lengths of the two diagonals so we're going to start off with the uh, horizontal diagonal and we're going to move that towards the top and bottom like so and we're going to label that diagonal 1 or D1. Now next we're going to do the same thing but with the vertical diagonal and we're going to move that to both sides like so and we're going to label that diagonal 2 or D2. So next we're going to create an identical sized uh, rectangle D1 by D2 like so but the only difference is we've actually split our rectangle down the middle and there you can see that uh, the width is now made up as, as half d1 and half d1 and the idea here is we're going to move these four uh, triangles that make up the kites into exactly half the area of, uh, of the rectangle d1 by d2 so to make it a little clearer we're going to color code our four triangles like so so we're going to orange one there yellow green and purple so let's start moving our four color-coded triangles into uh, this this space of half our rectangle so starting with the orange one fits very nicely in there and the yellow triangle fits nicely in there so let's move the purple triangle over and it doesn't fit exactly so we're going to have to I think rotate it 90 degrees clockwise and that will fit perfectly in there and finally the uh, green triangle a little bit more work to do here so we're going to have to rotate it 180 degrees and flip it over but essentially the green rectangle is congruent to the space that we're putting it in so it fits nicely in there so what you can see is actually the width which is half of d1 or should i say that the four parts of the kite make up a rectangle of width half d1 times by length d2 so therefore we can quite easily conclude that the area of our kite is half d1 times, times by d2. Now another way of writing that would be uh, d1 times by d2 and then divide that by 2. So I hope that's much clearer. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.